the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke chapter 11, beginning at the 15th verse. When Jesus had driven out a demon, some of the crowd said, By the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others, to test him, asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebul that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. When an unclean spirit goes out of someone, it roams through arid regions searching for rest, but finding none, it says, I shall return to my home from which I came. But upon returning, it finds it swept clean and put in order. Then it goes and brings back seven other spirits more wicked than itself, who move in and dwell there. And the last condition of that man is worse than the first. You know, it is extraordinary to think that, according to today's Gospel reading, some people thought Jesus' power to heal and make whole was not from God, but from the devil. They were saying that far from being of God, Jesus was of the devil. How could someone who revealed the goodness of God be associated with the prince of devils? The tendency to demonize has reared its head throughout human history. One group demonizes another. Some individual is demonized without foundation. Once someone or some people are demonized, it gives those doing the demonizing a license to do terrible things to them. Declaring Jesus to be in league with Satan is the most extreme example of such irrational demonizing. In response to this perception of him, Jesus declares that it is the finger of God that is revealed in all he does, and that it is the kingdom of God that is breaking out through him. The Gospel reading encourages us to look for the signs of the finger of God in the lives of those we might be tempted to demonize in whatever way. The parable of the weeds and the wheat reminds us that there is a mixture of the good and the not so good in each of one of us. Jesus is totally good. Satan is totally evil. The rest of us are somewhere in between. We are called to celebrate the good that is in our lives and in the lives of others. Jesus also calls on us to be more attentive to the plank in our own eye than to the speck of dust in the eye of the other.